deaths coming up in our home because we're going to shut them down. This is our house. We're living in it, and they're getting the heck out. Potential league MVP Katie Reichman and the surprising Seattle Mist are ready to rock behind the league's best defense. Dallas comes to town with its own championship caliber defense and one of the best arms in the league in quarterback Linda Brenner. Brenner and Dallas have the best air assault in the league. Here we go. Number one Dallas, number five Seattle, LFL, Friday Night Football. Let's go. This is the place in the time to decide your mind if you got what it takes for the shine. Yo! Don't be wasting the time. Yo! Get erased from the line. Yo! Lights and the cameras are flashing. Fans on their feet and it's time for some action. Thunder and lightning, they fighting and clashing. High speed chase, race and keep smashing. L, L, L. This is Friday Night Football. Welcome to the beautiful Pacific Northwest home of the LFL Seattle Mist and the Showwear Center, where tonight Seattle's only winning pro football team will look to upset the number one ranked team in the league, the Dallas Desire. Fans, were in the stretch run of the season and Dallas at 3-0 can clinch the Western Conference with a win tonight while Seattle 2-1 hopes to hang on to their playoff hopes with that win. Now the West can easily include three 3-1 teams if Seattle wins tonight and LA beats San Diego. Coming up, keys to the game and kickoff. Stick around, LFL Friday Night Football. This is Friday Night Football. Men, finally a reason to love shopping. Log on to LFLshop.com for your favorite LFL team gear and merchandise. For the LFL fan on the go, simply go to LFLUS.com and download your favorite player and team applications. LFL Mobile, where true fantasy football meets your handset. Welcome back, Showwear Center. We are just about set for kickoff. Great crowd on hand. Let's take a look at our keys to the game. Lindsey Blaine is the heartbeat of this team. She was knocked out of the game in L.A. with a concussion but seems to be back at 100% tonight. She's used in short yardage and on offense, and she'll anchor that defensive front. She's tough, and she's a great line. Next, containment of that Dallas new generation triplet. Remember Troy Aikman, Irvin Smith, they ruled football in Dallas in the 90s. Now it's Marie Brenner and Mosley, but Mosley missed the team flight and has been benched for this game. It's going to have a big impact on this one. She is a terrific player for Dallas and will be missed. Finally, there's no more fanatical crowd in the LFL than these missed fans who rocked the Showwear Center and could cause little communication problems for the Dallas offense. We shall see. Set for kickoff. Let's play ball here. Here's a kick, a low bounding kick. Oh, it takes a high bounce. And this one will go back to the uh, back wall. And Seattle will take it first and ten. Great crowd on hand. They are ready to make a lot of noise. I can guarantee you that. Quarterback Linda Brenner in Dallas is just terrific. Uh, Annie Hayner is a great tight end. Reese Steele, their center, does a great job on the offensive line. Crystal London is a good running back. Gabrielle Marie is outstanding. She could be all fantasy player. This is in a great team. But again, remember, they're missing Mosley, and that's a big part of who they are. Linda Brenner, what can you say? This is a great quarterback. 122.45 rating, 170 yards, 10 and 29. She's got a great arm, and she sees the field extremely well, and she can read that defense like very few quarterbacks in the LFL can. She'll fade back here, looking, rolls out to the right side, looking deep. This one is caught by Marie. Touchdown. One play touchdown. How good is Dallas? That's how good Dallas is. Marie comes to the center of the field, a little celebration. She is very happy as she should be. That's a heck of a catch and a great throw. And Seattle, you can see a little shaking of the head there. Lindsey Blaine saying, what the heck are we doing? And there she is at linebacker. Blaine is terrific from Portland. 
person in Bales, Myshawn Bales, can do a lot. She is a very talented player. And then in the defensive backfield, Katie Reichman is all fantasy. She's terrific. Shannon Peterson, a defensive back that can make plays as well as Kendra Berlin and Amanda Brace. Going for one point here. Brenner. It's a little motion. Hands off right side and fighting in. Did she get in? No. Did not quite get in. Got right to the goal line and a great stop on that one. Kendra Berlin there on the stop. So 6-0 is our score and now Seattle will take over. As we said a little earlier, Seattle absolutely positively has to win. Natasha Lindsay is one of those quarterbacks who manages the game very well, sees the field, but is not going to be a great runner. She is going to hang on. And then you've got Maggie Person, Lindsey Blaine, who will take it in short yardage, Katie Schaefer, but their star is Katie Reichman, the wide receiver running back. When she gets in, watch out. Pitch to the left side, great run, and a heck of a start for Seattle. Look at a little extra pushing and shoving afterwards. Amanda Brace on the carry. Brace did a nice job and uh, hurry up offense here for Seattle. Gain of five, make it second and five. Fades back, looks, steps up, throws, and it's caught. That's enough for a first down and more. That's Lindsey Blaine with the catch. And again, look at Seattle. They are ready to go. The official's trying to slow them down, get the... Uh, Yardage marker set, get the bean bags put down. Brenner fakes a pitch, now rolls out to the right side, looks, steps up, throws, and it's incomplete. Intended for Katie Reichman, but the pass was just overthrown, tapped away, and it's incomplete. Outside of Reichman and Blaine, really no big name players. They win a lot with role players and a great team oriented approach. Second and 10 after that one was incomplete. Fades back and now she's gonna tuck it and run. Look at this, she's got a big hole. She's across the 15 and then thrown down at the end of the play. And we got a little pushing and shoving. The play was clearly over. Gabrielle Marie was there to make the stop on Annie Hainer, Aaron Marie Garrett. This is a great Dallas defense, not just good. Reed. Crystal London is outstanding. Amber Ryan, Liz Darden, they can flat play. But again, they'll miss Mosley. Seattle trying to answer that first drive. Fade back. Lindsay looks, throws in the passes a little bit too low and incomplete. Just needed to throw that football a little bit higher, and I think that would have been complete and could have gone for some yardage, but it's incomplete. Fourth down and a yard. Now they have tried their pass, so this is, uh, they can run the football here. center. Pitch goes to the right side. This will go for a first down and more. Amanda Brace with it. Andy Hainer a little wired up. getting after each other right from the start. I tell you, Seattle realizes that they have to win, but Dallas has got that swagger. They're the undefeated team. They're the Chicago of the East, and they're thinking, you don't mess with us. Natasha Lindsay fades back, 
Got some pressure, throws, the pass is complete. Right down near the goal line, and she's in for a touchdown. Katie Reichman. See what the flag's all about. Little pitch. And right there. Just keeps going. Look at that. Just leans forward and gets in for the touchdown. And the officials are still discussing this. The touchdown is good. After the play, personal foul. Offense number one, unnecessary roughness. That penalty will be enforced after the point after attempt. Jamie Ferguson called for a little unnecessary roughness. Here we go. Had four receivers to the right now. Trips to the right side. Lindsay looks over, gets the snap. She's going to run it to the right side. She's got an open and she's in. Lindsay Blaine is in for the touchdown. <laughs> Love the happy celebrations. Lindsey Blaine's one of those big, tough players, but very strong and can make things happen. We got a timeout on the field, 7-6 Seattle. 12 minutes left in the first half. We'll be right back. with the football. Twelve oh two left in the first half. Seven six is our score and there goes the clock. Brenner gets some motion and we got caught. Look out. First start. Offense. Five yard penalty. First down. Little offensive problem. Brenner gets everybody set. Now gets the motion, hands it off, and look at this nowhere to go. Great read defensively. Wow, that's a huge stop. Handoff, and absolutely nowhere to go. Jamie Ferguson there to throw her down. That's a loss on the play. And it's second and 16 now. And we'll take a break and be right back. Eleven oh five left now. Clock running. Brenner, the quarterback, will get everybody set again. Second long, second down and sixteen for Dallas. Fakes a handoff, fades back. Remember how well she reads the field, and she finds an open receiver. Look at this. She's across the fifteen, down inside the ten yard line. A big first down. Arguably the biggest impact player in the league, running back and linebacker, Gabrielle Marie, grabs that one and rolls up the field. They'll mark her down at the 13-yard line. I guess that knee came down, but a big, big first down. And got a little problem. They're going to have to hurry now. Gabrielle Marie is still not set. Now they are. Handoff goes to the right side, and she got tripped up and got a couple, but not a lot. Crystal London there with the carry. Just a short game. Brenner looks over to get the play from the sideline. 
Might be a little problem. Here she comes now. Dallas having this problem. They can't seem to get the plays and get rolling. Receivers split to both sides. Brenner back there all alone. Now Brenner comes up, and now we got a delay. Delay game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Second down. And heard Annie Hainer saying to Linda Brenner, what did you hit me for? I think she wanted Brenner a little tighter toward the center. Depending, that, that may have had something to do with how Seattle was lined up. I'm not sure. Brenner fades back, looks over the middle, steps up, throws into the end zone, and it's tapped and incomplete, almost intercepted. Katie Schaefer tapped it and went after it, wanted it, but it wasn't quite there. Incomplete. Here's the throw, and it's just tapped up, which is what she's taught to do. That's really a nice job by Schaefer. You tap it up in the air, and then you go get it. Seattle saying, make some noise. We like it. Third down and 12. You got to get just inside the five yard line. Brenner steps up, quick throw goes to the right side, pass is caught, and a great job defensively. Grisa Brewer with the initial stop. Gabrielle Marie with the catch, but she was going nowhere. And it's fourth down. Fourth and eight after that play. Yep, fourth down. Seattle knows what's at stake here. This is a big down now for Dallas. Brenner fades back, looking, steps up, throws into the end zone, and it's incomplete. A nice job by the Seattle defense. They'll get a stop here. And now they will take over. We'll take a timeout. 721 left, 76 Seattle, and they've got the football when we come back. Seven six Seattle after that stop, they'll get the football back at their own 12 yard line. Natasha Lindsay has been very good at managing the game so far. But Dallas has the league's best secondary. Now Lindsay's saying, shh, <laughs> quiet down. Lindsay fades back. Steps up, throws, it's complete across the 15, out to about the 17. Oh, and a late hit. Wow. A very late hit. Annie Hainer saying, hey, I'm okay, I didn't do anything. That's a nice catch, and that's a great job hanging on to the football. And remember, we've got that flag, I'm guessing late hit. After the play, personal foul. Unnecessary roughness, defense number 14. Ten yards from the end of the run, not the first out. Here it is. She makes the catch, and there's the initial hit, and then the second hit, and that's a penalty. Huh. Well, she's one of the most intense players in the league. Annie Hainer, ejected earlier this year for brawling, becoming an impact player on both sides of the ball. But that penalty really hurts as now Seattle is rolling. They've got the football in Dallas territory. Handoff, now a pitch back. Look out, looking long down the field, and it's incomplete. A little razzle-dazzle by the uh, Seattle coaching staff. And it'll be second and 10. How about that? Keep you awake. <laughs> Coach a little bit upset. Seattle. So you're on the left. I'm on the right. 
Here we go. Lindsay. Now that's Lindsay Blaine who's looking long. Blaine throws and it's intercepted, picked off. Oh, and a shot on the tackle. And now a flag comes in. It is Dallas football, but that was a shot. That looked like a spearing penalty could come in. Personal foul, illegal contact above the shoulders. Passing team, 10 yard penalty, first down Dallas. Illegal contact above the shoulders, that was a shot. Oh. Kristen Reed loves it, let's see now. Blaine steps back, throws. Great job on the interception. Oh, and then she just threw a shot. Kristen Reed threw a forearm to the head, and that's where the penalty comes in. So Dallas now with a, a great opportunity. Down by one in a game again. Dallas wins, they're in. They're like Chicago. They're the undefeated team in the division then, and they are in. Seattle has got to win. Handoff goes to the right side. Big opening there inside Seattle territory across the 20. Crystal London with the carry, and that's a big, big run for Dallas. Get their offense rolling a little bit. Dallas, probably the most complete team in the league. They can run it, they can pass it, and defensively they have got every weapon they need. They're big, they're strong defensively. You saw that interception. Handoff goes to the left side. A little bit of an opening. And she'll gain a couple before she uh, gets hit into the wall. That Seattle front is just outstanding. And again, we talk a lot about Lindsey Blaine. There she is right there in the middle of the picture. She's very, very good. But the whole Seattle front three really controls the line of scrimmage very well. Second five after the game. And now two backs back there with Brenner. Give goes to the right side looking for a little bit of room and not much to do there. Crystal London on the carry. Make it third down and a long yard here for Dallas. Brenner looks over that Seattle defense. Trying to find that matchup that she likes. This is one thing, again, that she does very well. Before the play starts, she's got an idea what she wants to do. Fakes the handoff, fades back. She's got pressure. Now rolling out. She's in trouble. Steps up, looks into the end zone, throws, and it's incomplete. May have kind of thrown that away. And it's fourth down now. Make it fourth and a... Again, about two yards to go. Well, Dallas has the deepest roster in the league. Been coaching and balancing of egos that Dallas head coach, former NFL great Antoine Edwards, is a strong candidate for coach of the year. He does a terrific job. He is a genius offensively with these ladies. Everybody lined up to the left side. That's trips to the left. Now they get a slot back who goes back by Brenner. That's Crystal London. Brenner. Hold it. Flags down. False start. Offense number eight. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. Gabrielle Marie called for the false start. And now it's fourth and seven. Two and a half left here. And the clock is running. Big play for both teams now. Coming up on halftime, Seattle love to go in with that lead. Brenner takes the handoff, fades back. She wants to throw. Steps up, now rolls out to the right side, looks in the end zone, and threw that one away, I think. 
That was way over everybody's head. And that's incomplete and Seattle will take over. Big stop for Seattle. Two minutes and six seconds left and Seattle will have it first and 10 on their own 14 yard line. And we're at the two minute timeout. Two minutes left, we'll take a break and come back. Seattle leads at 7-6 and they've got the football. First and 10 football at the 14 yard line. Natasha Lindsay, the quarterback, under center. And it looks like there's some confusion and now she's gonna have to keep it herself. She looked like she wanted to hand off and nobody came through. So she's gotta keep it. And I don't think she wanted to. Look, if she wants to hand off here, I think she wanted to give it to uh, Katie Reichman slash as they call her but a loss on the play make it second and 11 and clock running coming up on a minute and a half left she'll fade back quick pitch to the left side that's complete and a big gain as she just keeps rolling down the sideline <laughs> Maggie Pearson and Maggie having a little fun but that was a big big game down to the Dallas 22, first down. That's great. She's telling everybody where to go. That's really an interesting little segment there, if you could hear it. She's telling everybody where to go and saying this is what it's going to be. I'm going to pitch it to you on the left side. That's just what she did. Pass is complete, and she just keeps rolling forward. Very, very nice job by the quarterback there, telling everybody what their job was. Got it to Reichman, and that's a very nice game. Alongside Dallas, Gabrielle Marie and Miami's Tina Caccavelli, there's no bigger star in this league than Reichman. She can just make things happen. Very smart player, tenacious player. Minute 19 left, second and three. She fade back, looks, throws, and it is overthrown and incomplete. Intended for Katie Schaefer, but a little overthrown. Incomplete third down now. And this is a spot where you got to think right. Tasha Lindsay's a good quarterback. We got trips to the right side. But this is where you go with your best, I would think. Throws to the right side. Pass is complete. Trying to cut back, and I don't know if she got it. Reichman is the one who caught it. And let's see where they mark it. Timeout. Timeout, and we'll be right back. Fourth down. short on the screen there it says fourth and two it's really fourth and a long one is, is how you'd look at it pitch goes to the left side and a tough tackle Jamie Ferguson got it nice tackle on the play by Gabrielle Marie no surprise there Gabrielle Marie is one of those that can just play. She can go both sides of the football. The offensively, when she gets it, she reads the hole very well. And, oh, look at that. She just ran over the defensive back. Was enough for a first down. Gets in and talks to everybody in the huddle. I really like how Seattle gets together like that. 
So everybody knows what they need to do. Football at the 12-yard line. Lindsey trips to the right side. Fades back. Look for a pass short. Now goes long, and it's incomplete. That was really dangerous. Whew. And that got tapped around, and that had interception written all over it. But instead, it's incomplete. Third and ten now. Got to hurry to get this playoff. They're taking their time in the huddle. Lindsey fades back and they rush two. The pass is up and almost complete. Oh, she had a shot at it. Lindsey Blaine had it go off her fingertips and it's incomplete. Blitz. They just blitz that last play and rush two more defenders. Is that right? Twice in a row, right? Twice in a row, right? Five yards. Illegal defense. Second blitz per series. Defense, five yard penalty. We play third down. And we mentioned it that they blitzed two there. They just blitz two, and there's two more right up in Natasha Lindsay's face. And the heck of it is that Lindsay Blaine almost came up with that football. So now make it third and five. Gives you a couple options now. You can run it, you can throw it. She'll fade back, look, steps up, throws, and it is caught Maggie Person, and she's in for the touchdown. Once she caught that football, it was great blocking up in front of her, and she rolls into the end zone, and that's a big touchdown now for Seattle going into halftime. Seattle wants one point. They put it up the two-yard line. I'm a big fan of that, by the way. I think those two-point conversions are just too difficult. Unless you have to go for two, I don't, I, I don't want to do it. And now Lindsey Blaine will take over at quarterback. Natasha Lindsey comes out. Blaine is great in short yardage situations. She just, she's so strong. Trips to the left side. Let's see if they just block and she follows all of them. That's what's going to happen. Here she comes, and she is in for the two point, the one point conversion. She's so hard to stop. Once she gets a little bit of a head of steam, she is, she can roll into that end zone. So now 14 to six with 25.8 seconds left. <laughs> little celebration. Here she comes. And again, that nice job of blocking. And it's the initial surge. Once she gets that, that yard across the, the line of scrimmage, it's gonna be hard to stop her from doing much of anything else. So now 25.8 seconds left in Dallas. Gotta move the ball down the field. It's still time though. With the clock stopping, there is still time for Dallas to be able to score here. Linda Brenner, the quarterback, fades back, looking, steps up, throws, and it's caught out near midfield. A great tackle. Terrific job by Kendra Berlin on the stop. Annie Hayner with the catch, and uh, Dallas now knocking on the door. With one play, Dallas just rolls up the field. Football at the 18-yard line, clock running. Brenner gets the snap and then spikes it with 10.5 seconds left. Second and 10 with 10.5 seconds left. And they may be able to get two plays here. Again, the football at the 18-yard line. They get set. Brenner fades back. 
Steps up, throws, looks deep, and it is incomplete. Knocked down. Katie Reichman there with the stop. We told you Reichman, not only a great offensive player, she's an outstanding defensive back. Now third and 10, 4.7 seconds left, and now you got to think you just throw this into the end zone. Looked like Seattle rushed one that time. They may be able to rush a couple. 4.7 seconds left. Brenner eyeing the field. Got a back with her. Fakes the handoff. Steps up, throws, and almost intercepted with two tenths of a second left. Kendra Berlin right there had a hand on it, as did Reichman. They were both right there, and they're laughing about it. And that'll do it. We are at halftime. Halftime, we'll take a break and come back. Highlights coming up. Coach, I think, made his uh, feelings uh, known. Total yards about the same. Passing very similar. Turnovers, it was a big one. First downs, very strong. Now here's some highlights. Look at this great catch on the opening play. Gabrielle Marie right there, and then she's going to give you a little celebration. Pearson just kept fighting and finally got in. I love the dances. I love the whole thing. I think this is great. Here's a heck of an interception. Look at the hit. Oh, Man, what a hit. And then another touchdown, and we've got a break. Second half's coming up. Stick around. All right, set for the start of the second half. Dallas will kick off. High short kick. And now they do a little reverse. Look at this. Wide open. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Oh my! Terrific job. The reverse. Everybody was following the ball. They get the little reverse and wide open for the touchdown. Oh! That's terrific preparation. Here's the handoff. And she will just sprint right up the middle. Kendra Berlin just takes it to the house. Touchdown. Oh. That's a huge touchdown. Now 20 to 6. And they'll go for one. Smart job. Smart play. Trips to the right side. Throws and it's incomplete. 20 to 6. Wow. If Seattle wins, they'll be tied with Dallas at 3-1. And, and then if L.A. wins their game on the 29th against San Diego, we've got a three-way tie in the West. The top two go to the playoffs, and it's a point differential then. So, again, Seattle has to win. Dallas would love to win uh, and, and be undefeated. But Dallas with a point differential. I think Dallas is pretty well assured of being in. But, um, boy, you just never know, right? Football to 15. Handoff goes to the right side, and she's got pretty good yardage there. Very quick play. Great. Look at this defense. She's just terrific defensively. 
You think you're going to get in, and you don't quite. Oh, what a shot there. Mm. Big play. There's no question about it. Second down and two. Brenner puts runner in motion. Handoff goes that way. That's Crystal London, and London pushes it ahead. Brenner kind of pulled her back a little bit there at the end. London rolling forward. And see Brenner pulling her down there? That doesn't help. Push forward when you're on offense. But it's first down. First and ten. And now with the way the clock works, this is almost a must-score situation for Dallas. You may get two more possessions, but you, you've got to think on one of them you could get stopped. Motion again comes London. Handoff, and it's a reverse. Nice block up the field, and she get a couple yards. Brenner had a nice block for a second, but couldn't hold that block. And they'll put the football down at the 19. Make it second and seven after the three-yard game. Dallas generally content to take those little bites. But again, Dallas needs a TD here. But Seattle front three has been pretty good so far. Hard to run near. You may get wide to the outside and get some yards. It fades back. Looking, looking, takes your time now. Throws and it's overthrown. She had a receiver open. Gabrielle Marie was there and open, but she just overthrew a little bit, and it's incomplete. So third and seven, a big third down for Dallas now. Brenner gets the call. Jamie Ferguson trying to get that Seattle crowd going. We got a great turnout. Brenner, handoff goes to London. She's inside the 15, down near the 10. Big first down for Dallas. Oh, how big is that? And now a little extracurricular stuff. You always love that. A little pushing and shoving. Jesse Yama is there as one of the players saying, uh, let's go, let's get after it. First and goal, football at the eight yard line. And again, a huge possession. Brenner takes that deep breath. Gets set. Throws to the left side. Pass is caught. Amber Ryan and Ryan down to about the one or two yard line. Well, you don't hear that name very often. Amber Ryan makes the, ca the catch and gets right down the goal line. Look at Linda Brenner. Brenner's got a terrific arm, and she can find those receivers, and you think she can't throw it that far? Look at that. That's just perfectly thrown football. Brenner, one of the best quarterbacks in this league. But right now trailing 20 to six, football down at the one yard line. Gets a little motion. London comes near. Now keeps it. And she will be in for the touchdown. <laughs> oh, now Brenner goes up and pats the defender that, uh, that tackled her after the play was over. Why would a quarterback do that? Why do you get a line person upset? You don't do that. Oh, man. You don't want them to come back and try and fight you. Going for one. <laughs> yeah. You can make a defensive back mad, somebody like that, but oh well. Way it goes. Get Lindsey Blaine mad at you. I don't think many players in the league would want to do that. Clock running, 11 and a half left, 20 to 12. Dallas trying to make it 20 to 13 here on the one point conversion. Brenner gets a snap. Handoff goes to the right side. London tries to get in, and it's close, and she got in. 
Right at the end, she got in for the extra point. Boy, this is a this is a tough matchup. You can see these are two teams that are going to get after it, and we got a timeout. Eleven eighteen left, twenty to twelve. Now they said she got knocked out and she hit the wall first before she got in for that extra point. That could be a big point later as the run goes to the left side. Kendra Berlin with the run. Crowd booing. I'm not sure what happened. A little extra contact after the play was over. She threw it at somebody. Well, Flag down. Right at her. Uh, I don't know. We spike, but we don't want to have a delay unless they throw it at her. But that's okay. There's no foul on the play in the lingerie league. We can spike the ball. Second down. Right. We like, we like celebrations. We like happy players, excited players. Heck yeah. All right, football at the 22, second and three after that seven yard run. Lindsay fakes the handoff, now steps up, throws. Great throw, and the ball is just dropped. Had a shot there and a nice play, but Kendra Berlin just can't hang on. And it's incomplete, so now third down. That could have been a big first down. Now Lindsay still in that hurry up. Fades back, three step drop, pass is complete. Goes to Maggie Pearson, and that's going to be enough for a first down. Just a nice little design play. Throw it out to the left side. Pearson is right there, and that is a first down. This is almost like what you would equate to a screen pass. Just a quick hitter, just looking for a couple yards, get that first down, and let's keep moving down the field. Exactly what they're looking for here. Take their time. Again, the clock is the, is in their favor. If they can get one more score, they've got to feel pretty good about themselves. Couple wide receivers split to the right side. Lindsay handoff goes that way. Nice blocking up field and a good finishing tackle. Kendra Berlin on the run, and now we've got time called. She's down. Oh, and she looks like she's in a lot of pain. I don't know if we can see it again, guys, but this was, uh, she's hurting. Let's see if you see what happens here. She gets the handoff, and everything is great here. Now she's going to hit that wall. Oh, that knee went the wrong way. Ouch. Kendra Berlin with that right knee. Yeah, that's what they're going to look at. And we'll take a break. Hope she's all right. 9.07 left. We'll be right back. Well, we hope that uh, Kendra Berlin is okay. That replay and when she walked off, it didn't look too promising. She looks like she's in some pain. Second down, about a yard now. It's a second and ten on the screen. It's about second and one is my guess. Lind Natasha Lindsay, the quarterback. Motion comes to the far side. Lindsay fades back, looking, steps up, throws, and it's almost intercepted. Oh, she's going to look back at that one and say, God, I had that in my hands. Crystal London literally had it in her hands and couldn't hang on. So it's second down. Now third and uh, about third and a yard is really what it is. And again, when you get into this, this situation, you think, 
Katie Reichman, maybe Kerry Warren, but you've got to give it to one of your stars here. Coming up on eight minutes left, Seattle leading 20 to 12. Little pitch goes to Warren. Nice cut back, and on the tackle, I think she got it. Had the tackle knocked her backwards, I think she would have been short. But that's going to be enough for a first down. Watch. Little pitch goes to the right side. And that was Katie Reichman. And now she just falls forward on the tackle. And that just was enough to get the first down. Wow. League MVP candidate Katie Reichman. Explosive on offense out of the backfield and considered one of the biggest hitters on defense. She reads that ball very well. Reichman just a terrific defensive back and running back. First and ten. She'll fade back, looking, throws, and it's overthrown. Katie Reichman, the intended receiver, she just threw it over her head a little bit. So it's uh, second and ten. Should Seattle win this now, we could very easily see these two teams matched up in the Western Conference playoffs down in Miami. Based on those point differentials that we're talking about, Again, if these three teams finish at three and one, you could see these two going at it again in a couple weeks down in Miami. Natasha Lindsay, little pitch goes to the right side. Lots of room, she's inside the 10, down near the five, and finally will be stopped right there. Amanda Brace with the run, and Brace with a big, big gain down that right side. Third and three now after that seven yard game. Football sitting right at the five yard line. Taking a long time now. Gabriel Marie saying, yeah, make all the noise you want. Seattle's got to hurry here. Couple wide, wide receivers go to the right side. They realize they got to hurry. Gets the snap. It's a reverse. Looking to get outside and nowhere to run. Shannon Peterson, the one that came around after the reverse and was looking to make a move, but just there's nothing there. Great job by the uh, defense, the Seattle or the uh, Dallas defense to make the stop. So now fourth down. Fourth and three. And the nice thing for Seattle, you've got Reichman, you've got Warren, and don't forget about Lindsey Blaine. Blaine can be a target, a little slip screen where she starts out with a block and then releases. Could be a tough one to stop. Let's see, this that's one of their favorite plays down here. And that's just what she does. Blaine does release. She catches it, trying to fight her way forward. Let's see where they say forward progress is. I don't think she got it. The officials want to make sure, but I think she's short. I think it's first down Dallas. And it is. It's first down Dallas. We got a timeout, and we'll be right back. So Dallas with the football, just under five minutes left. Dallas needs the touchdown and the two-point conversion. Linda Brenner, the quarterback, has motion coming to the near side. That's who'll get it as the motion back. Look at this. She's across the 10, out across the 15-yard line. Nice run. Gabrielle Marie right there. Let's get a little Katie Reichman sound here. Football now at the 17 yard line. First down, four minutes left. 
Dallas may need to hurry. If that two-point conversion is not good, if they're able to score, Dallas is going to need a little help. Now Brenner fakes the handoff. Looking long. Throws in. It is incomplete. She was looking long for one of her favorite receivers, Gabrielle Marie. The pass just incomplete. And it's second and ten. Well, I tell you, these Dallas coaches, Antoine Edwards, not afraid to do anything at any point in time. Three and a half left now. Remember, we got the two-minute stoppage coming up. Dallas may need two possessions here. The two-point conversion is hard to get. Second and ten. And we got a penalty there. Got motion. Ball start. Offense, number 14. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Hmm. Coaches are just sitting on the side, banging their head against the sideboard. You know, because that's the kind of thing that you've practiced it, you've run it over and over and over, and still they struggle to get it right. That happens. Fans up there having a ball. Second and 15 now. Brenner with a handoff. Goes around the left side and look at this. Nowhere to go at all. Great job. Jamie Ferguson stayed in her spot. Didn't go the other way. Now we got a little pushing and shoving. Get Annie Hayner and Lindsey Blaine to go after each other. That'd be a heck of a matchup. <laughs> You can hear, let it go. Manny Hainer, the one who's saying, let it go there. Let's see. Here's the run. She comes around the left side. And again, that's just a great job. Got around the neck. A little horse collar. Third and 13. Brenner. Rolling out of the pocket, in some trouble. She's gonna run it herself. Oh, and did she get taken down? A horse collar. Oh my! Flag goes down on this. this. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number one. Ten yard penalty. Automatic first down. Oh, Jamie Ferguson with her second penalty like this of the game. You gotta make sure everybody's okay after that. We got a break. We will come right back. This is Friday Night Football. Minute 59 left now. First and 10 for Dallas. And a give goes to the right side, looking to make a little room, can't do it. How about Lindsey Blaine? Read that very well, came over from the right side of the defensive line, followed the football, and makes the stop. Lindsey Blaine just continues to show why that line play is so vital in anything you're gonna do. Dallas, first charge team timeout. And we got a timeout. We'll be right back. L, L, L. This is Friday Night Football. Second down and seven. Dallas has used their only timeout now with a minute 36 left. They need that score, and then they need the two-point conversion just to tie this one. Fumble on the handoff, now Brenner picks it up, throws and almost intercepted. Oh man. Great job by Katie Reichman to knock that baby down. Coming up, Tampa and New York on the 15th and uh, for Tampa, a huge game. They're still trying to get to Miami and they got a shot. Tampa, New York on the 15th. Third and seven. A minute and a half left. Dallas still very much in this game. 
One score away. Brenner. All by herself back in the backfield. And she, you could see she was hike, 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 hike. Okay. Offense, five yard penalty, third down. Here's Katie Reichman, and Reichman was just named the game MVP. Uh, she's had a great game, five catches, 64 yards, and a couple TDs. This baby's not over yet. Third and 12 now. Runner fades back. Steps up, looking long, and it is overthrown and incomplete fourth down. Big fourth down here. <laughs> Reichman saying, I, I couldn't find it up there. Looking into the lights, and that can be tough. Seattle crowd now making some noise. They know this is a big fourth down play. Fourth and 12. One back will stay back with Brenner. 123 left. Brenner fakes the handoff. Now Fade steps up, throws, and it's incomplete overthrown. Almost there for the catch. Fourth down, incomplete. First down for Seattle. And remember now, Dallas is out of timeouts. Here's the pass thrown right through her hands, incomplete. Oh. So after Dallas is out of timeouts, Seattle's got it first down. Minute 18 left in a first down. Now Natasha Lindsay is going to manage this game. This is where she becomes so valuable. You read the play clock, you watch what's going on. You just make sure you got what you need. Handoff goes to the left side and driven. Ooh, hard driven into the boards. Nice try. Nice, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice shot, nice try. But the clock's still running. Reichman gets up a little gimpy, but still smiling. Under a minute left. And now Lindsey Blaine comes in, and Lindsey Blaine is going to keep the ball here. They don't have to do anything else. Blaine just runs left side or right side, and this should be it. Now Blaine's going to get it off. It's a double reverse. Now they're looking to throw. Looking into the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Shannon Peterson was there for all the world. I figured Lindsey Blaine's coming in. You run the ball one way or the other, run out the clock, but how about that? Seattle realizes that with a win, they need that point differential. How about that? And coach, you're going for one or two here. What are you gonna do? Well, this is where you've gotta go back. Well, here's the play. You figure handoff going to the right side. Nope, it's coming back. Here's Lindsey Blaine. Throws and wide open. Touchdown. <laughs> Give a little high five. Why not? And now they're going for two. Natasha Lindsey back in. Throws. And Lindsey Blaine is in for the two-point conversion. Strong run by Lindsey Blaine. And now Seattle up 28 to 12 with 23 seconds left. If you're Dallas now, you're thinking, all right, first thing we're out of timeouts. So we need a quick score. We need one or two play score, and then we're gonna do an onside kick. Let's get that score first, and we need it right now. 
That's one of the big things. We need this TD right now. And if you're Seattle, you're just thinking, play defense back there, defensive backfield, anything comes our way. If you can catch it, great. If not, just knock it down. That's all you're thinking about here. First and 10, 23.2 seconds left. Renner fades back. She's got a great arm, steps up, throws long, and it is incomplete. 16.6 seconds left. Passer, defense number nine, 10 yard penalty. Boy, that had to be really late. I watched the ball and followed the ball, and I didn't see any contact, so that had to be well after the play was over. Look at the Seattle coaches. Get back. Don't, don't do anything like that. Now they've got the football right at midfield, and now it is a throw that she can make into the end zone. First and 10. But again, the real key here, they need two scores. Brenner fades back, looks, looks, rolls out to the right side, still looking. Now comes back to the left, now heaves it toward the end zone, and it is, oh, incomplete. It was right there to be caught. An incomplete pass. Watch this. Now, first of all, Brenner has to take a while here. Rolls out to the right. And this is valuable clock that's going. Now rolls out to the left. Throws, watch this, right through her hands. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. Gabrielle Marie had that. All right, four seconds left, and this is really not enough time. You need a couple plays. Brenner will heave this toward the end zone. It's incomplete. How about Seattle? The fifth ranked team at home takes care of number one Dallas, 28 to 12. And you gotta give them all the props. That's a huge, huge win. And that just might get them into the playoffs. Final stats, both teams, big yardage. Seattle ran it a little bit better. Great first downs, fourth down conversion might be the difference. Two of three for Seattle compared to 0 for three for Dallas. Huge, huge win. Seattle now three and one. Dallas three and one. LA's game coming up. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in a couple weeks.